All right. I think we're going to have one more poem before the, the break the questions, here. Yes. Yes, before a little Q&A. And I, you know, I, I'm going to re I'll read this poem. I'm, I'm, I'm sheepish about it. It's probably the most staged poem I have, and I read it very infrequently. I wrote this just as a, a very brief little backstory. I, I taught some poetry workshops at the York Correctional Institute, so uh, maximum security women's prison in Connecticut. And uh, it was actually a, a very moving experience. I, I taught uh, uh, six weeks of classes there. And when I was there, there was one woman, I mean, everyone was really grateful for having me and uh, really interested in, and invested in what we were doing. But there was one woman who just sat, sat in the back, and she didn't really say anything. She kind of looked at me like she thought I was just full of shit, and, <laughs> which I kind of felt like walking in there, uh, you know. And the, so at the end of the first class, she comes up to me and she says, "I don't care what you say. There ain't no poet better than Tupac." <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, yeah, we'll bring in some Tupac. We'll like scan some lines of his poems, you know." <laughs> and uh, so anyway, the, the class proceeds, and she still just sits back there, doesn't say anything, doesn't participate in it. But she comes every time, but she doesn't do anything. Uh, and the last day was very emotional. Everyone, I think, was very grateful that I had come. I was really grateful and touched by that experience. Very powerful, and everyone kind of left the room, and this woman was just still sitting back there. And I was like, "Oh." Okay, I'll, I will see you. And she came up to me and she said, you know what? I think Walt Whitman might be almost as good as Tupac. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, uh, and so I, I, I felt compelled to write this poem uh, imagining what if Walt Whitman in fact were Tupac. <laughs> so uh, this is for the woman at the York Correctional Institute. There, there's a little refrain. I'm going to need a little love from the crowd for this. So when I say the line, word overall, beautiful as sky, I want you to give it back to me, all right? So this is practice. Word overall, beautiful as sky. Word overall, beautiful as sky. All right, one more time. Word overall, beautiful as sky. Word overall, beautiful as sky. All right, with apologies to Tupac and Whitman who are turning in their graves, this is MC Walt and the Body Electric. <laughs> Word, the bard is my title, but names are not vital. For you to get thrown upon this musical shuttle, over the sterile sands down from the showered halo, knocking imitators down with the strength of my recital. Just to let you know, I stop, I go, ebb stung by flow down from the Mississippi up past the 730. Cloverleaf freeway, let me see you sway from the roof of my mouth down to the dirty south, singing the body electric, bone by brick. I prick each nerve until it curves the walking sticks of old men with beards dark as grass. Hear that, old captain? I'll make you bounce up off that ass. <laughs> Listen to the clash of brass. See film dance upon a beer glass because no universe can be forecast. Remains a procession, spontaneous jam session. A couple of war vets shooting CeeLo with their pension checks. Wrecked on a case of long necks like specks of dust. Rims flecked with rust. Limbs joined in trust, singing hymns charged by lust. They belong to us, you and I, even after we die. Word overall, beautiful as sky. We're all beautiful as sky. I hear America singing, singing Greece, dropping bombs. The release priest from compunction for compassion. Dysfunction stays in fashion, bringing us versus them. When I'd rather not condemn like Eminem, bust a rhyme that reminds a dime bag of weed was once a seed I held in my palm. The germ of a green psalm, confirming one creed with a blah. Assalam Ali Khan. The world's my home skillet, mash it up like hog millet. Slop it up on my plate before I grill it or chill it. Let me dine on this universal hieroglyphic barehanded. No need for knife in a fork or hoods in a cup. If I exist as I am, then that is enough. Try to deny, player, but I'd rather you reply. Word overall, beautiful as sky. Word overall, beautiful as sky. Who's out of the cradle rocking endlessly? It's the MCWALT. The shade calling silently. It's the M-C-W-A-L-T. Who drinks the mystic delirium most fervently? It's the M-C-W-A-L-T. Who speaks to each stranger as you speak to me? It's the M-C-W-A-L-T. So when accrued, I contain multitudes. New Jacks and OGs, time and space. Hustlers and pimps, the whole human race. There's no place I haven't been where I will not go. No levy or dam that can staunch this flow. It's trackless, vast, divine, unsurpassed. Dry and bubbly like Moe and Chandon, put your dew in a perm like a hair salon. I don't represent east side or west side, but the Milky Way. Pastures to forest to the Quai d'Orsay. From bowling alleys, river valleys, to all-you-can-eat buffets. From them capsule dookie ropes or missing their teeth. To uptight socialites who can't eat or sleep. 
I'm not above or below anything you see, an acme of things accomplished and enclosure of things to be. So shout out for yourself if you shout out for me. I'm just an MC with the gift of gab, not locking it down for the cheddar or for the hood rats. Not doing it for myself unless by me you mean you. Fitting flavor in ears like Reebok fit shoes, leaving you and I, even after we die, hurling words like birds in the sky. Mm -hmm.